Hello friends! Today I'm going to show you how to knit this adorable but very easy newborn beanie. This pattern is a newborn size, but it's a stretchy, stretchy stitch, so it's also going to fit zero to three months. This project is also a great stash buster. It uses very little yarn. We're going to work this one up in the round, and there are a few decrease stitches towards the top of the hat. I'll show you how to do that when we get there. But first, let's talk about what we're gonna need for this project. You're going to need some knitting needles. I've got these number 10 six millimeter knitting needles on an eight inch cable. You're also going to need a yarn needle to weave in your ends, and some scissors, and a stitch marker. And of course, you're going to need some yarn. This is going to be more than enough to make the hat that we're making today. So gather your supplies and let's get started. One last thing before we jump in, the gauge for this project is about four stitches per inch by about six rows per inch. Now let's begin. We're gonna start with a nice long tail. We're gonna be doing a long tail cast on. So this is the side attached to the ball of yarn and this is the tail. I'm gonna start with a slip knot and I'm going to put that slip knot right on the needle. Now with the tail in my right hand and the working yarn in my left hand, I'm gonna begin doing some cast on stitches. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around the needle like this. Then I'm going to yarn over with my working yarn and then I'm going to loop that yarn back over the needle and draw it nice and tight, and that's gonna give us a stitch. So I've got a loop on my finger, I'll loop it over the needle, yarn over, and then put that loop back over the needle, and that makes a stitch. And I am going to do this a total of 45 times. So there's four on the needle right now, five, and six. And I'm just gonna do this a total of 45 times. And once I hit 45, I will make it back here and I will show you how we're gonna connect the round. And 45, there we go. So now I'm going to make sure none of this is twisted. I'm gonna keep all of the stitches here, making sure they're all the same direction. We don't want any twists in there. And I'm going to just turn my work so that all of the yarn is now on the right side. And I've got an empty needle here, but I'm going to scoot all of the work up so that it's on that second needle. Okay, so now I'm just going to drop the tail and I'm going to have the working yarn come over into my left hand. And now again, make sure none of these stitches are twisted around. You want them to be a nice straight line. So we want this to be over here. And now I'm going to join my round with a knit stitch. So I'm going to insert the needle as if to knit, and then I'm going to knit that round together. And the join right now looks very sort of flimsy, but don't worry. Uh, move on to the next stitch. So I'm going to start by knitting all the way around. So I'm gonna insert my needle into the back, loop the yarn over the needle, pull the loop over and then release. And I'm just going to do that all the way around until I get back to my first stitch. And this first round might be a little bit finicky. It might be a little bit tight and that's okay. It's gonna get way easier after we finish this first round. So just make your way around, knit into each stitch all the way around until you get back to where the tail of your yarn is. Okay, and here I am back at the beginning of the round and you can see that by making sure it wasn't twisted, the stitches are nice and parallel. So now what we've got to do is tighten that tail down a little bit, and then we're gonna knit the last stitch, or I guess the first stitch of the round. And I'm just going to do that knit with the tail pulled nice and tight like this. And that'll make sure our join is uh, not big and gappy moving forward. And now we're gonna start the next round with a knit 
And guess what? <laughs> We're gonna knit again, another round. We're gonna be doing a bunch of knit rounds. This whole hat is actually done in the knit stitch, which is what makes it so easy. By working in the round with this short little cable, it allows us to just do the one stitch and just repeat it a million times to make our little hat. It makes it a lot less intense to work up. I wanna say you don't have to count anything. You don't have to keep your eyes on your work. You can definitely do this as like a road trip or a watching TV kind of project. It's a really nice uh, mindless task once you get into the cycle of it. So we are going to repeat this up to row number 20. So do 20 rows of this simple knit in the round and I will meet you at row 20 where we're gonna do a little bit of decreasing to shape this hat so it's not just a tube. We're gonna have a little bit of decreasing to make it a nice cozy cap for baby. The reason I say this is such a great beginner project is because it really gets you to practice your knit stitch. You don't have to be switching between knitting and purling. You don't have to worry about doing any turns or any anything complicated. This is just a nice, repeat of the same stitch, which is awesome for getting your hands into that sort of rhythm and getting your skills a little bit more refined. Okay, so I've just finished my 20th round. I just marked um, one, 10, and now I'm at 20. And we have 45 stitches in the round. We're gonna begin doing some decreases now. So to make this really clear, I'm gonna use stitch markers. I have 45 stitches in the round, so I'm going to be dividing my round into groups of five stitches, and we're gonna do a reduction every group of five. So the first two stitches, I'm gonna knit those two together. So that'll be one and two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna knit these two together, one and two, and then three, four, and five. And then I'll be knitting these two together. Three, four, five. And then these two. Three, four, five. And then those two I'll knit together. And I'm gonna repeat that all the way to the beginning. And because we grouped those reductions into groups of five, the last two, the last five I should say, it'll be reduced three, four, five, and that way it's going to line up perfectly in the round. So for round number 21, we're going to begin with knitting two together. So that just means I'm gonna do a knit stitch, but I'm gonna do two stitches. So insert the needle, yarn over, and complete a knit stitch. And then I'm going to knit regular into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now we are back at another marker. So I'm gonna knit these two together and then I'll knit regular into the next three. One, two, and three. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around. So every time I get to a stitch marker, I'm going to knit two together. And then otherwise, I'm just going to knit regular in each stitch around. Where each of these stitch markers are, we're going to be essentially doing a reduction stitch. So the circumference of the hat is going to be significantly smaller after this round. All right, and I'm back at the beginning of the round. So now that was round number 21. For round number 22, we're just gonna knit around. So no reductions on this next row, just to knit all the way around until you get back to the beginning of this round. And then we're going to do another set of decreases. So I'm gonna just zoom through this knitting round and I will meet you back when it's time to get into round number 23. Okay, so for round number 23, you can move the stitch markers up if you want. I'm gonna leave them as they are, but I'm gonna show you how I'm going to uh, keep track of where my decreases are. So you can see here's the first decrease, we've marked it. Uh, for the first stitch of the round, we're going to knit two together. But now we're gonna be working in groups of four instead of in groups of five. So for the first round, we did a knit two together and then knit three. For this round, we're gonna knit two together and then knit two. And you'll see we're back at a decrease. And then here we'll knit two together, then knit two, and we're back at a decrease. So for this round, we'll start with a knit two together 
and then knit two. One and two. And now you can see I'm back at another decrease. So I will knit two together and then knit two, one and two. And then I'm back at another decrease. So I'm gonna do knit two together and then knit two, one and two. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So knit two together, then knit two. Knit two together, then knit two. And when I get to the end of round number 23, I'll meet you back here and show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so now we are at round number 24. And for round number 24, we are just going to knit all the way around. It's gonna be a little bit more snug now because we've done a couple of rounds of reduction. So if the stitches start to feel a little snug on the cable, uh, don't worry, that's, <laughs> that's normal. So just knit all the way around for round number 24 and I will meet you back at the beginning of the round. Okay, and here we are at round number 25. So I am going to begin with a reduction stitch again. So we're gonna knit two together, but we're gonna knit two together, then knit one, then knit two together, then knit one. So we're gonna knit two together to begin, working in groups of three this time. So knit two together, one and two, and then knit one, and that's the third stitch. And now see, we're back at a reduction stitch. So we're gonna knit two together, and then knit one. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. The round is going to get really, really snug on this, on this pass, because we're reducing the round by quite a few stitches. So just knit two together, then knit one, knit two together, and then knit one all the way around until you get back to the beginning of the round. For round number 46, just knit all the way around. I'll meet you back here at the end of row number 46 and we'll move into how we're gonna finish this hat off. And here we are getting ready to start round number 46. The round is super duper snug at this time and I'm going to start doing a magic loop at this point because it is getting a little bit too snug. And this next round is going to make that even more the case. We're going to, at this point, we're going to do knit two together, knit two together all the way around. So we're just going to knit two together in every stitch around, and that's going to take a little bit of finagling just to get the needles to cooperate at this point. So make your way around this round, knitting two together every stitch around. So for this next round, I'm gonna start by knitting the first stitch, then I'm gonna knit the second stitch, and then I'm going to pass the first stitch back over that second stitch. And that is how I'm going to start my cast off. I'm gonna do my best here to just get the cable out of my way. And then I'm going to continue with my cast off. So I'm gonna knit the next stitch and then pass the previous stitch over the needle. And then I'll knit my next stitch, pass the previous stitch over the needle knit the next stitch, pass the previous stitch over the needle, and continue that exact same repetition all the way around until there are no stitches left on the needles or on the cable. There will be just one stitch left. So there we go, I'm at my last one. I'll knit, pass the stitch over the needle, and now I have my last stitch on the needle. I'm gonna pull that through, and now I'm going to cut a nice long tail on my yarn. I'm going to pass the tail through that last loop and draw it down tight. And now we can take off these stitch markers. And now you can see what those decreases actually did. We've reduced the size of the opening to just a small little opening. And now we're going to close that opening up. So let's turn the hat inside out. And I'm going to bring that tail up to the inside. I'll thread my needle and now we're going to close up that hole. So come on in close for this. So I'm going to begin by connecting the round here. We can see this is connected down this. So the next stitch is right here. 
So we're going to just connect to that first stitch and then down here just to, to close up the round to begin with. And now that that's closed up, I'm going to weave just in and out of that first round, this last round we just knitted rather, knitting in and out, in and out of these stitches until I get back to the beginning of the round. And there we go. Now I'm gonna just draw that nice and tight and I'm going to weave this end just around these stitches just so that we can trim the end and not have to worry about doing anything after we trim that end off. And then just turning the hat right side out and that's it, it's finished. Since we didn't do anything to the brim of this hat, it just automatically rolls up, which is perfect because then it can be adjusted depending on baby's head because newborns can range in size. So if you've got a baby little tiny preemie, you might roll it up all the way. If you've got a nice big headed baby, then you can roll it down and have a little bit of a larger hat to work with. I think this turned out amazing. I love how the decreases created this cute little spiral at the top of the hat. I think this hand dyed yarn made for a beautiful, beautiful hat. What do you think? Don't those look so sweet? So these hats are super simple to make. You can probably make one in about an hour and they would be great for bringing home baby because they are super, super cute, super soft and squishy. So friends, that is all that I have for you today. I really hope that you liked this video. I hope you'll try to make this hat as well. It's definitely a great starter project for the beginner knitter and I hope you really enjoyed it. Thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me on Patreon this month. Here is the list of Patreon supporters. I really thank you guys. You guys are awesome. If you would like to join my Patreon and get access to the group Discord and other benefits as well, check the links in the description of this video where you will find all the details. Anyway, friends, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!